If you ain't gonna die from the fall, you're gonna die from freezing to death. Especially if you can't get your ass out because your fucking bones are broken. What is up, Blade Squad family? Welcome to a gameplay of either or would you rather either way you want to say it. I've been having a kind of rough week, but I'll be all right. I, I just wanted to do a chillax game and pretty much let you guys still know a little bit more about myself and my thinking process because it's kind of weird, I think. Let's get right into it. But the first question is, would you rather play a game one-on-one -on -one with Michael Jordan play a game one-on-one -on -one with Kobe Bryant? I honestly, I'm thinking Kobe Bryant as much as I don't like him. My brother was obsessed with Kobe Bryant and he pissed me off about Kobe Bryant. I was an Allen Iverson fan. Kobe, the way he went out retirement-wise, I mean, come on. Like, Michael Jordan was good at his era. The way basketball players are playing now is, is totally crazy. I mean, look at fucking Steph Curry. But I ain't, I'm not getting into that shit either. Le Mm, nope, not going there. I'd rather play a one-on-one -on -one with Kobe Bryant just because, you know, even if he whoops my ass terribly, I still can probably get some pointers from him. Even though I, I don't play basketball. I, I shoot the ball, but I don't play basketball. I know how to dribble the ball, run with the ball, and shoot the ball, but I'm no basketball player. Next question. Would you rather give up Christmas or give up your birthday? If they say give up my birthday, I won't get no older, I'll take that, but I doubt that's what they mean by that, cause I'd be goddamn, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna celebrate another birthday right now because it's just making me think, oh, <laughs> you're getting close to that fucking 50. But I'd rather give up Christmas. Christmas nowadays are just about what kind of gifts you can give a person, and that's not, the way I like to roll. I like to actually like do family things and decorations. Watch Christmas Story over and over and over and watch Home Alone 1 and 2 over, over and over. Next question. Would you rather yell a swear between every word, which I already fucking do, don't I? Or get punched in the face after every swear? Uh, yell a swear fucking word? I mean, that that's a lot of fucking cursing. But yeah, I, I, I'd rather... It's don't punch me in my face after every swear. Why would I want to do that? But yeah, here we go. 40% and 60. All right. Would you rather be famous for inventing the whoopee cushion or be famous for in inventing the snap bracelet? Uh, they still sell the snap bracelet? I think they still sell whoopee cushions, but I don't know about no damn snap bracelets. Oh my God. Whoopee cushions, I think it's still popping. I mean, it's not popping like it was popping back in my day popping, but... It, people still get that for gag gifts, right? I think. I don't fucking know. I, I'd rather be the adventure of Whoopi Cushion because I think it's still going. I think it's still, it still sells more than a snap bracelet. I don't see nobody with a goddamn snap bracelet. Jesus. Would you rather eat only KFC for a month or eat Taco Bell for a month? I used to be a huge Taco Bell fan, but, no, none of those are appetizing. But if I had to choose, I'll go to what I used to. Yeah, y'all thought I was going to pick KFC, didn't y'all? Who thought I was going to pick KFC? Mm-hmm. But I'm just playing. <laughs> but eat only Taco Bell for a month. Hey, people would rather... Look, fried chicken is good. Not KFC's chicken, but fried chicken is motherfucking delicious. Would you rather be four feet tall or be ten feet tall? Uh, I think I'd rather be four feet tall. If you guys wanted to know, I'm five, about five, five. I don't want to be ten foot. I'll take six foot. I'll take that. I would rather be six foot, but I don't want to be ten foot. I, what the hell? I can't fit nowhere. No, I gotta special get my clothes specially made, and it, it, that just looks like it's too stressful. I can use a ladder when it comes to this shit, so I'd rather be four feet tall than ten feet tall. What? A lot of people rather be that tall? Wow. You guys, if you see any question down here that, you know, you want to go ahead and give me an answer to, I would love to read it because I love to see how other minds work. Wow, that's an interesting question. Would you rather be addicted to steroids or be incredibly frail? Like, well, how frail? Meaning unbreakable, the movie with um, Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson? Because that motherfucker was beyond fucking frail. I don't want to be that frail. I could sit down wrong and break my butt frail. Like, I don't want to be that that frail, so, uh, but I don't want to be addicted to steroids either. But I don't want to be to the point where I can break a bone easily, so I guess um, I'm going to have to take the side effects of steroids because I don't want to break bones constantly. Wow, people would rather be incredibly frail. Like, they mean weak? What does frail mean to them? I mean, I need to understand that because if, if you just talk about weak, like I, I can't lift shit because I'm just weak and frail, then yeah, I think I just overthought that question. I really went into deep discussion about that and I don't think that's what they meant. If you could be embarrassed in one way, would you rather have your dad tell everyone about your potty training with pic or have your mom show your naked baby pictures to strangers? 
Which which one is terrible? Because honestly, none of them are bad. Cause you know what? Every goddamn kid parties and every goddamn kid was naked when they were the baby. I'm not embarrassed of what I used to do when I was a baby. But if I had to choose between the two, man, fuck it. Have everybody tell, my, go ahead, show them my party training experience. Sure, why not? Everybody would rather have their naked picture being shown though. What's so wrong about the potty training thing? Look, I, I'm, I, think I'm, I think I'm taking this from a mom's point of view. Almost every kid poops on himself, pees on himself, and every kid all, um, try to use the potty back in the day. You know, cause if you're still wearing diapers, then maybe you wasn't potty trained. That's the potty training process. It's a bitch to deal with cause I'm in that, I'm in that department right now. Y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all. Oh my God. Would you rather live until 80 in poverty or live until 40 in riches? It depends on how poor I am. Because if I'm just making it by, I'm still eating, you know, my kids are still eating. Then I'll take that, that's fine. If we're, we're not like totally struggling, like homeless wives struggling, then I'll take the until 80 in poverty. Cause I know money is not everything and i've been on both sides i've been on the sub living in the suburbs area and getting everything i wanted then losing everything and living in areas that weren't the best areas so i i, I want to live life i want to see what goes on in the world i want to see where my kids go i want i want to see shit. i don't want to die at 40 just because i got a whole bunch of money in my bank bank account i know trust me i know money helps a lot it does money helps a lot but not everybody with money is happy. And especially what comes with a lot of money. It's hard to trust people when you got a lot of money. Would you rather be featured on Bride, the show Bridezilla or be featured on the show What Not To Wear? Those who do not know what Bridezilla is, it's about these women who are obsessed with their weddings being perfect. They're willing to curse out their husbands, soon to be husbands. They are willing to curse out their own mamas to get what they need, to get what they want, they don't care. They were, oh my God, they were terrible. And, and what not to wear is pretty much a show that shows you what you should not wear and how to incorporate your body type with the clothes you wear and all that shit. I know I need to be on the goddamn show what not to wear because uh, my fashion is slacking and lacking. Like I said, I'm a t-shirt and jeans type of person. But the show Bridezilla, man, I I'm gonna say, let me tell you guys about my wedding. We went to a courthouse. I was fine with that. I didn't need a big wedding. I think it's wise for you to spend all the money on the honeymoon than the freaking wedding. There's weddings that's like $10,000, $100,000. There's always a certain number they always work with on Brazilian, but it tends to over go over that limit. So that money you supposedly was supposed to use for the honeymoon is now into the wedding and you don't get a honeymoon. Cause some women are willing to skip that honeymoon for that wedding. Hell with that. Like I said, I'm not a girly girl at all. That's just me. But being featured on what not to wear. Yeah, somebody's gonna have to tell me how to rock that shit. Like, like fucking Beyonce. I, I, I don't know how to do it. All that extra shit is not necessary. They are tripping with this goddamn. Oh no, but I'm gonna answer it. Oh God. Would you rather lick a public bathroom floor or lick a public bathroom stall handle? You know, where are you looking at on the floor? This is where you're gonna have to analyze this shit. Okay, so you go into the stall bathroom. It's a bunch of stalls. I'm gonna lick the floor, but I'm gonna lick into a certain area by the floor. I'm going to lick, oh God, I don't know. Jesus Christ, this is terrible. You can't lick near the trash can. You can't lick near the, the toilets. You can't lick near the goddamn door. So pick a corner area like maybe, the, oh God, that might be, this, look around the corner. So if you lick a public stall, just think about it. That person has already used the bathroom before they got to the goddamn stall. I mean, before they got to the the hand, the sink. I said about to say the hand washing machine. Oh my God. I'm sure a lot of people wanted to lick a bathroom floor than a stall handle, right? Okay, uh, well, it's, it's kind of in the between, it's, but mostly people. Would you rather be stupid and have brilliant kids or be brilliant and have stupid kids. Let me be stupid and have the brilliant kids. I am good with that. My, I want my child to do better and be better than I am. That's just me. So be, let me be stupid and have a brilliant kid. Yeah, I see. Look, look at that. Who is more attractive, Jennifer Aniston or Angelina Jolie? I think I think Jennifer Aniston is more attractive than Annalie, uh, Annalie, <laughs> and um, Miss Jolie. Angelina Jolie is really pretty too. Is this what they're doing right now? I just noticed that. This is Jennifer and Angelina. And that whole ordeal with Brad Pitt, who was not all that 
you need some Leonardo DiCaprio or some Marky Mark. To me, beauty is more natural. Like you don't that all that makeup is not necessary. And I don't know if Angelina Jolie really wore makeup like that because I didn't pay attention, but I watch Friends a lot. So Jennifer Anderson, I saw her all the time. She was a really pretty girl. Hey, that's on the fence. I mean, it's in between. Oh, I'm, I'm dead either way. What the fuck? Would you rather fall two stories onto concrete or fall two stories into freezing water? Um, well, maybe the two stories, two stories, two stories up. Ooh, Lord. That, that's, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. Even falling into the water is dead. Oh, God. You're going to die free in that freezing water. You automatically going to die. I think that concrete, you might got a chance of broken bones and maybe a concussion and a coma. Maybe. But freezing water? If you ain't gonna die from the fall, you're gonna die from freezing to death. Especially if you can't get your ass out because your fucking bones are broken. Uh, okay, so we're gonna try to, to uh, fall from two stories. Wow! Okay, maybe my logic is... You guys, let me know. This is the question I want you guys to tell me whether or not what you guys would do. A am I? Is my logic bad on this? Am, am I like... Am I thinking this wrong? Fall two stories onto concrete or fall two stories into freezing water. Freezing water? You're gonna die either two. There's two ways of going out in freezing water. Am I wrong? I am so like I'm so mind fucked right now with this goddamn percentage. It's 82 percent, and there's 18. Like usually, oh, I'm I'm kind of in between the two, but this one is I'm dr I'm dramatically like I am all the way down with the 18 percent. So I would like to know you guys. Let me know what you guys think of this question. Would y'all rather? Would you rather fall? two stories onto concrete or fall two stories into freezing water blaze squad i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you blaze up the like button and i will see you guys in the next gameplay